Hi, today I'm going to go over Photo P, which is very similar to Photoshop, and how to import and edit a photograph. So here I am in Photo P, and you can see the URL up here, photop.com. And you may or may not notice, but it's very similar to Photoshop. On the left here, you have a set of tools, okay, very similar to Photoshop. And if they have a little triangle next to them, if you click and hold your mouse down, you have even more options, okay? They're in a slightly different order than Photoshop. At the top here, you have um, options, okay? You've got a history panel where you can see all the steps that you've done, and then we've got layers right here. And if you're not sure what some of these things are for, you will eventually. So I'm going to import, file, open. We're just going to edit and resize an image right now. And you will be able to access your Google Drive and locate um, the folder and photograph that you would like to edit. All right. The first thing I'd like to do before I edit is right click on my background layer and duplicate that. And that's so that I can not only see before and after my edit, but if I do want to change, um, I can delete that layer and start from scratch. All right. I can see right here that I currently have a Photoshop file. And um, most of the time for this class, you're going to be turning in a JPEG. So I'm going to show you how to change that. We'll do that towards the end. So I've got my image here. You will see ads on the right, and that's our, the cost of having a free program. So I'm going to go, out, uh, go to Image, Adjustments, and then these are all of your options. And you don't have as many options as Lightroom. It doesn't work quite as well as Lightroom for editing, but it's what we have to work with. You can still make some amazing changes to make your photographs look a lot better. Um, I always start with exposure, okay, and you just, it will open a sub menu and then you move the sliders to your desired result. I don't know what gamma correction is, but I always, I adjust it <laughs> until it looks better. Uh, the next thing I'm going to adjust is brightness and contrast, okay, so I can make it a little bit brighter. I can change the contrast, which is uh, increasing the distance between the highlights and lowlights. If you want to try levels, levels actually is, is an, a good thing to use. But these are all the pixels in your image from the shadows, the darkest pixels, over to the lightest pixels, white. And you can drag this slider around. I can change where my midtone is and change my highlights, brighten those a little bit. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of these, whatever you want to, that, uh, to make your photo look better. Um, I'm going to next go all the way down to shadows and highlights. So I kind of like to mess with all that before I, I work with the colors. Um, so shadows. I can increase or decrease them. And same with the highlights so that I can. There aren't a ton of highlights in this. And adjusting the color just a little bit. Okay. Uh, Next, I might come and deal with hue, saturation, and lightness. Photoshop calls it luminous. Um, and so this would be changing all of them, or you can adjust each of the different colors. Okay. So just be careful. Our goal for most of our assignments uh, is for it to look natural. All right, so feel free to uh, try other things, your color balance. Um, you can turn it black and white and see what that looks like. Uh, mess around with all these and see, see how they affect your photograph. And if I click on this little eyeball here, that's before, so I'm sort of not looking at that layer, 
and here's after. So I made some changes um, to this photograph. Now we need to save it. So we're going to go to File, and we want to actually export, because this is an online program. So let's export it as a JPEG. Remember I talked about that. And uh, these are all the different file formats that are available to you. So I'm looking up here at a JPEG. Uh, there is a size requirement for this particular assignment, and it's 5 by 7-ish around there. Inches. So we want to make sure we are in inches and not pixels. We want to make sure that this chain link is clicked on. Okay, that means we're going to keep the aspect ratio. And here I'm going to highlight it, and I want to change it to 7. For some, This always happens. It undoes the link. You have to click it a couple of times. I am not sure why. There we go. No. And finally, you'll just notice that the height changes. And you can just leave the quality where it is. And make sure you click Attach Metadata. All right. You can notice here that it has exported this image. So now, I don't know why I did that. Um, I can open my Google Drive, and it will be in my Downloads folder, but I want to organize my image, and I want to put it somewhere where I can find it in order to turn it in. So I'm going to click on my Photo Class folder, And then I'm just going to put it in here for now, but you will have a folder for whatever assignment this is. And then you're going to go to New, File, Upload. And then look in your Downloads folder, and it's right here. I've done it a couple of times today, so it's there a couple of times. And you'll notice down here it's working, and now it's complete. So our final step is renaming this because most assignments, I ask you to rename it as your last name and then the assignment name. So all we have to do is right click, rename your last name and then the assignment name. And I always just double check, make sure it's a JPEG and say, okay. All right, so you can see it's renamed. It's in my Google Drive, in my photo class, and so I should be able to easily turn it into the Canvas assignment.